Welcome back along everyone to Rugby Champions where today the Highlanders are taking on one of their toughest tests of the season so far. The Jaguares are in town and the Argentinian franchise is looking to take more points to the top of the South African Conference in Super Rugby. It is a must win if we're to keep our winning record intact but it is a tough one to come away with from as well. It will be the Jaguars to kick off and it will be the Highlanders receiving a course in the blue and away we go. Here is Aiden Johnston with an early carry to get us underway. We're looking to go short. Tyrell Lomax has knocked it on and that is a bit of a mistake for us, a problem already for the Highlanders. It's Thomas Lovanini picks the ball up and Great defence there from the Highlanders as well. Driving back. Tita Shaparo. They come out wide. It'll take Adesio. Has friends with him but chooses not to link up. It's an early and very dangerous chance for the Hogwarts if they want it. Watch that guy on the short side. Oh, read that like a book, Bruni. Read it like a book. Get out of my 22. Still knock on advantage on the side of the visitors. As the little chip comes, a little grubber, in fact, from a Buffelli. And it's a, a great little play there from Josh Uani. Almost gets him out of trouble. But we will go back for the scrum. Tomas Belli goes away to Geronimo de la Fuente. And he sets it up right on the 22. Is Augustine Cleavy charging up the hooker on the short side. Now they open it up and... It's a Bonisha with a good play away to Orlando. The dangerous runners continue here for the Jaguars as the Highlanders struggle. And it's going to be a try. Pablo Matera, nothing on for the Jaguars. But the dangerous running of Matthias Orlando and Pablo Matera put them in for the opening try. Bonisha, his kick is fantastic. And it is very early on here. The Jaguares who lead the Highlanders seven points to nil. And we are the home team as well, remember, which is a bit of a shock of the team. Unchanged, you may notice, going into this one. So we've kept the faith in the team that got the job done against the Chiefs. Here is Ben Smith with a lot of work to do as Smith, and he's done all right with it as well. Sets it up. Just inside the Jaguares 22. It's on this side the half, I should say, as Aaron Smith has got a shocker of ball. And Liam Squire makes something out of it as well. On the inside, the support. James Lanches running to the line. Lanches with the support. He can't find it. So close. So close for the Highlanders. We've got a short runner. Who is it? It's Wylock. Wylock's over. Put it down, son. There it is. Wylock scores the charging run by the captain at number eight. Puts this back in this game. Great play from James Lynch's who created it all off the great break from Liam Squire. The back row causing all the havoc as the Highlanders strike back. The Squire, well, they know one really wants this ball here. They've got to somehow dish it out. Ben Smith is always one to accept. Here he is again, Wylock. Wylock support on his left. He can't find the way through to Vina Lee. Aaron Smith to Ioani. Holds the ball up. Oh, it was perfectly timed. Umanga Jensen got it perfectly delivered. Oh, no, is an injury. Is that to our player or is that to a... Aguarez player. That is to our player. We have to sort that out very quickly as Bonish is having a bit of a run. Where do we stop it? Who's injured? It looks like it's Coleman maybe. It's, here's Orlando. Another dangerous run from Matthias Orlando. Slow ball here for the Aguarez. Let's see if we can go from Cavalli. First time we've seen that from him and he's got Desio on his shoulder. I really want to make this change because we are nearing half time. Here's the kick. It's gone high. Tracking back is Yuani and Tavita Lee's there as well. Friends would be great. Here is Yuani. Back it goes to Lomax. Tries to drive his way through. Now we've got to get rid of this ball here. We've really got to get rid of this ball. Out of Scott. He's going to be in trouble here is Yuani. Oh, he's just got it away. 
It's not a bad one, so it falls in no man's land. He's still got the injured player on the field. Great tackle! Oh, Del is just hammered. Gotta love that commitment here. Oh, the knock-on is sensational. Wait, stop, 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 stop. The knock-on has happened. He's picked it up. I want to make these changes. Liam Coltman is injured. Um, so we'll bring on Ash Dixon, of course. It's um, a like-for-like -like replacement at hooker, unsurprisingly. And that's all I want to change because this starting team is so much better. The only possible change would be Shannon Frizzell to come on. Maybe Fakatava, but Aaron Smith is really above and beyond the rest of them as well. Let's get back into the game and um, make that change. Oh, good timing. <laughs> Excellent timing there. Now, the change has happened. Smith feeds. Smith gets it out. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. There's not long to go. Oh, we've got to get that pass away a bit sooner. Could have been on to something. Now the Highlanders spread it out wide. Looking as... Oh, and Waisaki the holo. Trying to beat his man one-on-one -on -one with 10 seconds to the break. Yuani, deep runner, and Umanga Jensen is Aiden Johnston. Rumbles into traffic. Big pass wide to the leading statistical player in Matt Faddis, who is dumped. And supports there as well. Tyrell Lomax having a, a bit of a rumble with the ball on his side. Right, let's get things a bit more composed, shall we? No, not like that. Homopo, no chance. Quick ball for Aaron Smith. He's got support line runners, and it's beautiful for Matt Faddis as well. Faddis breaks the line. Faddis bangs himself. Looks to link up. Can he get it away? He does. The support's everywhere for the Highlanders. Five metres short. Got to go open side. Naholo had two players on him. Quick hands through the back line. Homopo! There it is! Homopo will score eventually there. Gets it down. Jackson sends us to the break with a five-point lead and a chance for the extra two of the boot of Joshuani. 12-7 becomes 14-7. Yuani puts it over. And rather surprisingly, I will be honest, the Highlanders lead. I want to put this one really high. I want to put a huge amount of pressure on these Hagarares. They are on the road. And they are the team to beat, let's be honest about it. But we are at home, and that is the big difference maker so far. That home support. Oh, we went for the big, oh, we went for the big crusher. And it's not come off with Buffelli. It's far too good of a player to fall for that one. It's one on one out wide here. Oh, big tackle! I would love to give credit to someone there. I looked like Yuani, but I don't think it was. Regardless, it is an absolutely cracking hit. And they are forced to look for touch. Early in the second half, as we look to our back line to cause trouble. Yuani not causing any trouble there at all. Now we go out to Umar Jensen, who pops it nice and short to Ash Dixon on the field for the injured Liam Coltman. Now we go back to the left-hand side, looking for a big ball run. Now we get none other than Liam Squire. We have shut the hug out. Let's be honest here, folks. We are playing a great game as Parkinson shows the wheels. Great offload, keeping it alive for Homopo. And now Lomax. Oh, look at him go. Tyrell Lomax. With a thunderous run into the 22. Here's Yuani. Oh, he's trying to feed it. Oh, he's got it away, actually. And here's Parkinson again. Smith plays scrum half. Let's look for the short runner, shall we? For the captain of Luke Whitelock. Great play from Whitelock. Great offload as well to Fettis. Can't get a support player. We've still got the ball. We've got it back quickly as well. Now we go to Josh Yuani. Tried to find support there. Tried to get a pass away. Aaron Smith is hammered as well. Quick ball again. 12 minutes goal. We're going backwards at this rate here. And David Lee has to climb it down and pick it up. And he's running back towards the support. Nicely done too from Lee. No one really wants the ball here. But Ben Smith! Ben Smith around the outside! A miracle play from a miracle man! Oh, wow! Where did that come from? Four Highlanders players... None of them wanted the ball. They just played hot potato until Mr. Responsible, Ben Smith, says, give me that damn ball. I'll sort this out. 
big try for a big player like Ben Smith and the conversion is sensational. Five minutes to play, it's 21-7, a great kickoff here. Oh, have a look at that. Moroni flying very high to drag that in for the Hagarares. What's that short side, boys? This is trickle around here and he's put in that. Oh, that is a great run there from Rodrigo Bruni. We were trying to charge on it and we couldn't get it away. Now here's Benicia. Big trouble on him as the tackle comes in, driving him backwards. Now they look to this left hand side of their attack and the Highlanders deal with it nicely. They've got less than four to go almost. They go open again. Bonisha, turn over, yes, it's there for Memphis. Big play, big balls now to the Highlanders. Ioani offloads. Parkinson, how many times has he done this? Up towards halfway he goes. Looking for the run of Luke Wylock. Bulldozing over top. One to beat. Oh, the pass just couldn't go. To beat Lee right there. Uminga Jensen fires out quickly to Fadis. Fadis puts the line again. Not for the first time tonight. And he runs all the way. Oh, my word. Wow. 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 Matt Fadis spoils the home fans with a spectacular solo. Brilliant try. And the Highlanders start scene is having a cakewalk. Yuani adds the extra two. It is a bonus point win for the Highlanders. And that is the cream on the top from Matt Fattis. Now here is Umanga Jensen. He's put the line in half now and he's looking for a runner. He's lost the ball though, a little bit isolated. Sport couldn't keep up. He was just that good. What have the Haguaros got here? The final throw of the dice for these boys. Oh, it's big defense on Dalgin, not for the first time tonight as well. A minute to go, two and one out wide. Bruni does very well, holds the ball up. But the defense of the Highlanders down this left-hand wing has been perfect. Big tackle on Benicia again as they spin it out wide and Orlando has a go. Oh, trying to hold the ball up there. Whereas the Highlanders defenders be careful here, boys. Left side and right side. A lot of numbers out here. Knocked on. Oh, Creamy can't buy a trick tonight. Massive numbers. Five on two in defense. And we come out the better side. Here is Yuani running hard the line. What a ball room on Jensen. Where is this ball? Out wide. Here it comes. Ben Smith. Tavita Lee. Tavita Lee. He's in touch. Couldn't quite get the charge on there, Lee. Couldn't quite get the sidestep. Almost a brilliant end to what has been a phenomenal performance by the Highlanders. Let's be honest, it has been spectacular, but here is a bit of spectacular back the other way. De La Fuente having a bit to say. They keep it alive here, do the Huglaris. That is a big tackle. That is an immaculate tackle. That is a huge play from the Highlanders, but not enough to turn the ball over. Rumunga Jensen makes the big tackle there on Sordini. Now they go out to Orlando. Great short ball and through goes Moroni. One to beat. Oh, he's beat him on the step as well. Up to Ben Smith they go. 10 meter line. Highlanders holding tight so far. Lynches makes a good tackle. 28-7 the score. 20 minutes is up. They won't want to kick this away, the Haguares. Oh, they're charging. They made a good little fist there. That's very good. Again, how wide they come. Another injury. This time it's a... It's been an intercept, actually. We've stolen the ball. Back it goes. And Josh Uani says, we got a bonus point, boys. Let's go home. What a performance from the Highlanders who come out on top. 28 points to 7 over the Aguares. The conference leaders... The conference dominators in South Africa have been neutralized here in the deep south of the Highlanders. 28 points to 7, the ultimate display with some absolutely stunning tries by the boys in blue. You've got to love that performance. It has been up there with one of our best. Aguares got off to a great start. Pablo Matera showing the speed. That has earned him the ranking of one of the best 
flankers in world rugby. But have a look at what we got back. Liam Squire with the break through the middle. Support play on the inside from James Lynch's. And that was the six to the seven. And then we saw right at the end, the eight. Big man, Luke Whitelock, showing all the wares. Going over for the try. I want to see, I mean, I want to see this. Let's have a look. Oh, let's go normal speed. I can't show that proper. I would love to show. Here was the Putty Putty Parkinson break. No, the Matt Faddis one. That was the magical play. It was the last try, wasn't it? It really was. Here is Matt Faddis. Here it was. Through he goes, Faddis. Looking for support. Is this the one? Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Ah. Oh. It's unbelievable, Matt Faddis. It is absolutely breathtaking. Let's move on. Let's take a look at some stats. Oh, I love that try. One of the best tries I've ever seen on any rugby game. The ability to beat tackles. The attempts. The disappointment from the Haguarez players. That was amazing. Four tries to one. We really played the better rugby. We took our chances fantastically as well. Possession 55. Territory, though, we were a little bit down. We missed nearly just about half the tackles of the Haguares. Handling here was pretty close. We made a couple each. But overall, we were a clinical. When we broke that line, we made the Haguares pay. And that, that, my friends, was a joy to watch. Four tries, Matt Faddis, man of the match. As I talked about, he is the league leader in MVP points, in meters gained, in line breaks, in everything. Matt Faddis is the number one. Jackson Homopo got one, as did Luke Whitelock. Matt Faddis, and of course, Ben Smith with the, had the ball being to do something special. I tell you what, he did something very, very special. Pablo Matera got the one try for the Jaguares, and it was uh, Jocelyn Tigaz Ponisha. With the conversion, what a performance by the boys in blue. The Highlanders back winning in these big, big games. The Sunwolves, we don't even know what happened two weeks ago because now we are contenders. Let's check it out. Let's see what this big five points bonus point win gets us on the table. As we chase down the Hurricanes, this could be very interesting. Well, big, big, big news following that amazing result over the Jaguares. We've picked up four skill points, three attribute points, and of course, three more recruitment points as well. That puts us into the 30s. Now, remember, we looked at um, who we just played, Buffelli, Emiliano Buffelli, uh, earlier in a video and seen he was worth um, 18 or 20 points. That is a world class player worth maybe half of what we have now. I mean, we can get some real talent, some real youthful talent in this Highland side and be a force for years. We've done great work here this season as well. I'm pretty happy with the amount we've got. Also, oh, the injury. Coltman's out! I forgot about Coltman! Oh, no! We're also sitting on a now seven win, five loss record, seven bonus points, which is massive. 35 points, the uh, Hurricanes picked up the win over the Blues. You can see there, 14-7. Uh, the Rebels went up over the Reds. Uh, the Bulls went down to the Crusaders, 12-3, close one. And then we thumped, absolutely thumped the Jaguares. Right, let's, um, well, let's uh, move forward into the uh, next round, if you will. Uh, a couple of games still to play. You see um, the Chiefs playing the Sharks. And I can't remember what the last one was. This is round 13. Remember, there's only 18 rounds. So, really, only four more rounds to go. And I think we've still got to do one more bye as well. So, let's move our way into round 14. We'll have a recap of the results. Um, the Blues are the only team to uh, have all their buys. But look at their record. One win, 10 losses. Atrocious. Our attacking record only bet it by the Crusaders. Have a look at that. Turned into 15 there on 220. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, let's um, let's recap results, shall we, from round 13. There was a couple I missed out at the bottom there. Um, the Chiefs over the Sharks, 28-14. Lions with a win over the Waratahs. Well done, 21-7. And the Brumbies continue their dominance in Australia over the Sunwolves. Okay. Inbox. News. 
Uh, Goodwin. Player injury. Okay, unfortunately, the following players picked up an injury. Yes, Liam Coltman. Um, three weeks he's going to be out for. We'll move him out of the team. Top performers, Matt Faddis. Once again, Aaron Smith, Josh Shawani. I mean, they're really discrediting the work of our back row there. Uh, Squire, Lynch's, and, of course, uh, Whitelock. Brilliant in that match as well. Next game, we're up against the Lions. Andres Kutsi, Alton Yankees, and Malcolm Marks. They're the key guys to look out for. We're on the road, too. Oh, we're on the road, folks. We're off to South Africa. This will be interesting. How much does their home advantage count for? We will find out. So, Liam is going to miss the tour of South Africa. We will be taking instead uh, Ash Dixon. We'll go into hooker. And uh, Ray Nui will go to reserve. Uh, he's, well, slightly better. Actually, Nui is actually better than um, Dixon. Why are we playing Dixon? Experience? Ah, you know what? You know what? Stuff it. Let's put Ray. Ray Nui is going to start the 28-year-old over the 31-year-old Ash Dixon. The rest of the team, unchanged. Sumanga Jets, I thought it was a bit quiet, but that's all right because he's been the best. He was really, really good against the Chiefs. We can let him live on that for a couple of weeks. Fattis is the key. Massively the key. The back three, phenomenal. This back three, phenomenal as well. The two in the middle of the pack, brilliant. Those guys are massive for us. But we look in good shape. Really, really good shape as we head into these last few rounds. Remember, only 18 rounds this season. We're on round 14. And we are up against the Lions from Joburg. Looking forward to that one. Next episode will be coming your way. So if you're looking forward to that one, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, you can pick up a copy of Rugby Champions yourself. Head on Steam. All the links are in the descriptions. And always a big thanks to the guys for supporting the videos on the channel of Rugby Champions and GRM. If you like those games, get out there and support these you know, small game publishers that are really making waves with amazing games for us all to play. That is me for today, though. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you all next time for the Lions. We're on the road, though. Off to the Lion's Dead. This could be painful. See you then. Until then, take care.